This week will mark one year since Hurricane Ian devastated the coast of southwest Florida. The Category 4 storm made landfall on September 28th, killing nearly 150 people and leaving behind $112 billion in damage. Residents of hard-hit Fort Myers Beach are still working to rebuild. But there is a bright spot in that process, thanks to some local artists, including one who also has a survival story to tell. Here's Manuel Bohorkas. Before dawn on Fort Myers Beach, using the projected image of a seahorse, a symbol of good luck, perseverance, and protection, artist Lacey McClary brings color and new meaning to one structure that withstood the storm. I know that, you know, a little bit of color is making people happy, it makes me happy. It was almost one year ago that the same waters that inspire her work turned dark and deadly. Hurricane Ian lashed southwest Florida with winds topping 150 miles per hour. These are videos I shot on my phone. This is video McClary shot inside her friend's home on nearby Sanibel Island, where they rode out the storm. There was a thought in your mind that you might not survive that storm. Oh, yeah. I mean, I watched the neighbor's roof fly by through a window. So, yeah, it was definitely, I, I mean, I, I, was, I was praying. After the storm, with the bridge to Sanibel heavily damaged, McClary became one of hundreds who had to be airlifted. Very surreal. We met three days after the storm hit. Do you remember when we first met? I do. Downtown Fort Myers? Yep. And you guys were, I believe, interviewing someone, and we ended up talking, and then I needed a ride to my studio. <laughs> her studio near Fort Myers Beach. We were with her as she saw what was left for the first time and got to pulling out what could be saved. What's it like to see the ones you've been able to pull out? I think they're all here. I was trying to grab everything that I could that I thought I could use. My Granny Pauline. And then you hit a point that you go, all right, you, now let's start again. Mm. Let's move forward and let's just try to figure out a plan. One, seven, one. But with the home she rented on Sanibel Island destroyed, moving forward has not been easy. Not for McClary or the hundreds left homeless by the storm. In Lee County alone, more than 52,000 structures were damaged, including 19,000 destroyed or severely damaged. And Florida is now investigating reports that some insurance companies are underpaying on policies. More than 103,000 insurance claims remain open, out of 739,000 claims made. It was the most costly hurricane in Florida's history. Even walking down at Fort Myers Beach, I mean, it's still, there's still debris, there's still, you know, people without homes, there's still people with, that, you know, have lost so much. I think this is like rebuilding one piece at a time. For now, McClary is living and working in this temporary space. I think there's a lot of people that are really ready to see a comeback, and this, this community is super strong, and our locals here are resilient. Slowly rebuilding and once again inspired by nature. There was an eagle's nest and that felt, I mean, the tree fell down. So I watched these eagles like literally rebuild uh, in this new tree. And it was right out my window and I felt like it was a gift and a sign that I'm supposed to be here. An eagle now features prominently in her painting honoring the storm victims of Fort Myers Beach. This was Times Square. It's where McClary and fellow artist Summer DeSalvo spent weeks painting those murals. Since the storm, I haven't really come out here much. This was a good reason to be out here and, and you know, bring in some color to this area. And more specifically, to what was an elevator shaft. Significant because while the storm destroyed many of the buildings around it, it stood tall, now as a symbol of hope. I like it, and it's something, you know, you see it from a, a distance, and, yeah. and it really does. It pops, and, and people are really happy when they see it, so. That's what matters. That's what matters. <laughs> For CBS Saturday Morning, Manuel Bohorquez, Fort Myers Beach, Florida. That was really great. Oh, yeah. Just those beacons of hope. The eagle's nest. 
Yeah. It's so colorful and happy, uh, and I love that it celebrates in such a bright way this symbol of resilience. Yes, the seahorse, that's one of my favorite images. Really cool. Images, yeah. But also that the recovery continues. I mean, 100,000 insurance, more than 100,000 insurance claims remain open. That's a remarkable number. Yeah, time after time, we see these, these, these similar stories happening over and over again. Mm. People aren't made whole by institutions that should make them whole. Yeah, important to keep on uh, covering these stories a year yes, out too. Yes, Great job, Manny.